guys welcome back to my channel i know i've been missing action i'm really really sorry about that i i have nothing to say i don't want to give any excuses i know i had committed something and i couldn't deliver in time but trust me it didn't make me feel very happy about it i was uh, not in a right frame of mind or uh, to do anything i had too many things going on i had my house being reconstructed i had the online school of my child uh, on the projects uh, and uh, just too many things going on at the same time and to top it all the uh, my family was all covid positive and uh, it was a very very difficult phase and i was just not in a frame of mind to shoot i was not in the best of my i didn't have the best of that energy the the stamina the willingness to do anything and uh, just been very down of lately uh, been very depressed uh, we are uh, so basically for people who do not know we hail uh, my me and my husband are from a uh, travel industry and uh, our industry is also going to the dogs of so, uh, flights are not taking off uh, the aviation industry has completely it has a complete downfall and uh, even our uh, work environment is affected uh, for last one and a half years we have been at home uh, we are working it's just getting too much uh, to you know digest to work upon and it just doesn't give you that kind of motivation to do anything even though i started my channel in lockdown i was very motivated at that time but uh, gradually it just went down the drain and uh, i just didn't feel like and i didn't want to come show my face and pretend to be happy i know a lot of lot of people do that a uh, lot of influencers do that uh, uh, but, but then the social media is all about being pretentious and i i i am not a person who can fake smiles i am not a person who can lie i am a very blunt person i would say as it is on your face i would say uh, i just can't pretend you know my face says it all and i didn't want to do that i I have been uh, off social media for a very long time, practically four to five months. Even though I was posting on my Insta, but it was all old content which I had created uh, and never posted. But then I have never shot anything new. So anyway, um, today I am here to show you this look, uh, which is very basic summer. look uh, which you can wear under your mask as well because it is well protected and uh, i would uh, i want to share my experience as a covid positive and the journey from being positive to negative along with doing this makeup so if you are keen on knowing what happened and how to do this makeup please keep on watching uh first product that i'm going to start with uh for my base is a primer now i have been in love with this uh, lakme absolute primer so this is how it looks and this is the packaging and it comes in uh, this sort of a tube they have a mini version as well but when i purchased this one there was no mini version because it had just launched at that time and uh, or maybe i didn't find it not sure it comes like this in a tube and uh, this is how it looks it has little tinge so it does little color correction and this is like oops i dropped it oh oh okay this is how it looks like uh it it is it kind of makes your skin uh, obviously it just smooths out the pores and everything is there but it just gives little color corrections and uh, you have to be very careful with the product just a little bit goes a long way so i'm just gonna dot my regular areas where i have pore which is practically my entire face i feel and yeah so if you see it is instantly uh color corrected my face and it is given me that uh, pink tinge of 
on my face i'm just going to leave it for a couple of seconds before i snap on to the color correction and uh, under eyes um so as, as i said i'm going to share with you what happened uh, with covid in my house uh all of us who are infected with covid um uh, it started with uh, our maid who had symptoms for 2 3 days she took a break she came back and uh, we all insisted in the entire building to you know for for her to get tested but uh, she being she very adamant she said she won't and she didn't and uh, she she didn't come for 2 days after which uh, we came to know that uh, she is covid positive then um, gradually uh, people in our entire building started uh, testing positive and uh, the eventually even my family tested positive it was a very difficult phase uh, it started with my mom in my house uh, she got symptoms uh, we i we immediately isolated her and um, then my son got infected who is 5 years and we isolated him as well but uh, because he co sleeps he co sleeps with me i also got infected um and uh, so three of us were infected and um, it was a very difficult phase because uh, one day we did, one day i really felt that that this is it i i wouldn't make it you know because i was so feeble i was so weak i just couldn't walk up to the washroom from my bed which is not even 10 steps away literally it's not even 10 steps away from my bed and um, i just couldn't make it to the washroom one in the middle of the night i wanted to fill water bottle because my water was over and when i went up to the kitchen to fill my water i blacked out it was so bad i blacked out and i just thought that i will die that very moment i just rushed back into my room and i sat for a couple of minutes until everything started blurring out and i started getting my sight again but uh, i was lucky enough that uh, i we could arrange oxygen and steroids and blood thinners in time for me because uh, other, without that i don't think i could have made it so going back to a color correction so as you can see i have very prominent dark circles for which i'm going to color correct i'm going to use this la pro girl con- la pro LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Warm Honey, and I'm just gonna take it. Now this color correction, uh, now this corrector, it uh, dries up really quick uh, while applying. So I'll just do one side at a time, and I forgot about that, and I forgot about that, and I've done both the sides. So I have to be real quick while blending it. Just taking my beauty blender and gonna blend it. So yeah, as I was saying, we were able to arrange uh, the oxygen cylinders and uh, steroids in time for me. There was a point when my oxygen level had dropped to A7. And uh, my breathing had become abnormal. I I I used to stop breathing uh, for a split second and uh, get my breath back. So the oxygen cylinder uh, I ended up using two oxygen cylinders nearly and uh, lots I mean uh, lots of medicines I just didn't know what was happening to my body it was something which I've never experienced you know I've never experienced uh, this sort of weakness or uh, this sort of uh, 
um, you know, this this uh, sort of feeling, the the body has never felt. It was it was an alien feeling, you know, for the body. Body never felt like that. It it just was not ready to heal. I felt so many medicines, so many injections, and uh, yet the body just didn't want to heal. It felt. This is how it looks after color correction. I'm going to now do my base. Uh, I'm going to use my foundation. I've been in love. Uh, I'm in love with this sugar foundation. Uh, I used to use a number 30, which was a tad bit yellowish for me. And uh, then I switched. I, I messaged sugar that, you know, I'm not able to find my shade. And they, uh, they were very kind enough to reply to my uh, DM. And they suggested me to use this 10 number latte, which is, I think, second second shade in their shade range so this is how it is i'm sure a lot of you have already seen it and it has this brush behind but i just forgot i, I i've been doing the makeup after a very long time i'm just forgetting the steps and i'm a little nervous and okay uh just forgive me for that i need to set my eyes I'm using this sugar a translucent powder and just setting my eyes I am not baking it I'm just setting the corrector that I have on under my eyes so that when I apply my foundation it doesn't move and pose that I just need to give it a couple of seconds for it to just set and because it's foundation is like a full full coverage foundation I am not going to color correct anything else um and i'm i'm gladly i can say that you know uh, my skin has been my skin has improved a lot of texture which is why i don't think it needs as much color correction as it used to need previously if you've seen my previous videos my previous insta posts you would know what i'm talking about and um, yeah so i'm pretty happy with what uh, the regime i'm following uh, with uh, how my skin has been uh, uh, treat, treating itself uh, with all these products and uh, some of the products are genuinely worth investing so yeah by the time it's setting um, coming back to the COVID um, my mom also uh, was uh, positive as I said and but she recovered within a week she had the COVID score of I believe 18 or 16 the RT-PCR score uh, so we did the RT-PCR test, we got the results next day, my son was, no, sorry, my mom was 26 and my son was on 18, yeah, so, but then my mom already is like a comorbid, comorbid as in means that they already have uh, a history of uh, other diseases like a BP or diabetes or uh, cancer, any breathing issues or any medication which is going on so she was a comorbid which is why she got infected uh, immediately and she was the one who used to deal with the maids daily and uh, she used to basically be in the kitchen the day maid used to be in the kitchen helping her and yeah so she got affected immediately but then uh, she recovered also within a week's time with the medication so yeah I'm just snapping on some foundation this has to be my favorite foundation after fit me i can also say that uh, this fit me could be second and uh, this could be my first preference now the brush on of this foundation is so dense that i like to blend it with the brush but then uh, when you blend it with the brush i it feels a little streaky so I just go back uh, once after once I blend it. I like to go back to my beauty blender and just make sure everything is blended perfectly. And it looks seamless, you know, with the beauty blender. It just makes your face set 
and look skin like now that's the word skin like i believe i didn't mention to you that uh, i was not at my house when i got covid i was at my maika my mom's house my parental house that is and uh, it is in a small town of gujarat pretty well known but a small town and this a big uh, hospital which is a municipality hospital which is uh, the covid center and uh, this being one of the major districts of uh, gujarat all the other talukas and uh, all the other talukas in small cities the covid patients were coming to this hospital getting admitted there were some private hospitals also but they were not equipped with the kind of uh, treatment of covid patients should get you know and uh, so i didn't get uh, a bed in the hospital which is why i had to be treated at home so the first doctor that we consulted gave me few thinners uh no actually he didn't give me thinners he gave me medicines he gave me medicines and uh, few steroids injections and he uh, asked me to take steam and uh, one of my cousin who runs a pharmacy he suggested that i should uh, take a nebulizer so i did all of that for 4 5 days and uh, i was okay i was recovering but uh, post that two three days post this treatment which was a four day treatment so in this in this four days i also took uh, my mom and i we both took this medicine called fabi flu it's a 17 uh, tablet course which we both took my mom took it more because she was go morbid uh, i took the 17 uh, tablet course which which you have to take in the chronological order of 5 4 3 2 1 so you take five tablets at one go then four tablets and three tablets two tablets one tablet like that and uh, because obviously i was taking like really heavy dosage of this medicine yeah, i was okay for 2 3 days after the medication i felt uh, i felt okay uh however 2 3 days post that i started deteriorating uh my oxygen level dropped drastically it went to 84 last i remember and uh, i started getting nauseatic i started getting diarrhea uh i was uh, very very weak i couldn't eat i had no sense of taste i had no sense of uh, smell all of that all of those symptoms so <clears throat> so now that my base is set i am going to contour my face Uh, for which I'm using again uh, a product from Sugar. It's their uh, contour stick in the shade number one, Fawn First. I'm simply going uh, because this is a very basic look that I'm doing. This is going to contour very lightly right here. From it will start from my ear and go up to here. That's it. Same with same goes here, my ear to here, and little. I have a very big face. I want to contour this forehead, and I have a very small forehead, so I'm not going to contour this. And little nose. I'm taking beauty blender and blending it. Yeah. 
is a very nice uh, contour because it just blends very well with the skin it just gives you that uh, shadow effect and uh, slimming effect on your face immediately so if you see this see this and look at this side i am blending it downwards on my chin i am dragging this contour on the tip of my nose also so it doesn't look uh, it doesn't use the stark lines i'm using this uh, blush from swiss beauty it's this sort of pink color and this too comes with its sponge but uh, i'm not a big fan of it. it just doesn't blend with this so i'm going to do the same thing right here now uh, it depends completely on your face where you are placing your uh, blush because i have a very round face full face i'm going to put my blush right on my i'm not putting on my apples of the cheek i'm going to right here above the contour and i'm going to do it one side at a time because this is really pigmented and it just dries up fast this is the effect it gives after blending a very very natural pink flushed cheeks a little lighter and a little dark you can do the same even with the lipstick you know these days it's just an in thing but uh, if you remember our moms um uh, uh, they've always been doing that i don't know what's the fuss about um uh, this lipstick lip and cheek tint and uh, lipstick being used as the cheek and uh, on cheeks and on the um, as a contour color and an eye shadow i remember my mom using one lipstick like forever i remember my mom using just one shade as her con as her blush and eye shadow and lipstick and what not i have never seen her uh, using so many products you know and it is to look good on her i don't know what's the big fuss about this in fact uh, i found it hilarious when i heard about uh, these things you know that it's a trend it's an in thing but it i it has always been there it's just that people forgot over the period or people just thought that you know this is not uh, uh this is not that your thing back then and then the trend just came in back i don't know I'm not a fan of it and now that my off uh, base is set i'm going to start with my eyes uh now makeup has no rules as you all know i like to do my base first because then it gives me an idea how my eyes would look it just completes the look i feel i'm going to take my maybelline uh, age rewind concealer for the base of my eyes and i'm just going to set it with my fingers i just find my fingers easier uh to set my eyes because they can read the corners so as you know the drill just doing it on one side first because then i want my eye shadow or whatever the eye i'm doing to sit on the correction that i've done otherwise it dries up and uh, then becomes difficult in my opinion to blend everything so now that my one eye is done i want a little tacky and i'm just going to use the same blush again taking it on the tip of my fingers as my as our mom and grandma used to do and just tap it on the corners and just blend it with my fingers again you can also do it with a sponge if you want but uh, i find it easier with my fingers you see that is so beautiful 
with this pink look i'm going to use this thing from nika as i was saying it this is uh it says mac to last liquid lipstick and i'm going to use it as my eye topper comes like this it's a very pretty coppery shade like this i'm just going to take a little and just do it in my inner corners and i'm taking little outward in the pink to mix it and make it look one do you get the ombre effect oops and i just realized this is right up i i thought i'm applying something but i was actually pulling my concealer off and there is nothing like nothing in my eye i can just show you in the close see this there is nothing on my eye <laughs> you should know what is surprising this is the only product on nika as a brand nika that i own and i have not used it more than once once nika if you are listening what is this nothing is coming out no actually it is then why is it not on my eye i'm so oh i'm going to try again let's do it okay let's try taking on my fingers and doing it rather than doing it with its wand on lips Nika there is nothing inside whatever is coming on my hand is just a leftover from the wand because there is nothing inside i don't know how to show it to you guys I'm on my phone camera and it, of course, doesn't have that kind of clarity as my DSLR. But there is nothing. Well, the show must go on, and so we will use some other shimmer. Some other. Let's go with this one. I think I really like this one. Should I do it funky? Hmm. Let's go with this blue. Whoa! I kind of like this transition from blue to pink. Closer look. It looks gorgeous in person. Darken up this pink over here because we got wiped off. And yeah, that's the minimal eye look I could make it for the day. Let's do the other eye now. So yeah, going back to COVID, my son apparently recovered in three days uh, because they are kind of they kind of have a lot of immunity in them. He, he anyway had just the fever, but and uh, that's about it. The the worst one was effect affected of all this was my sister. who had traveled from her hometown to kolkata that's where she stays 
you don't know how she got affected because uh, when she went from here until then our maid was not positive there were no symptoms as such neither were any of us was it the journey or anyone in kolkata that she got in uh, contact with any positive person i don't know she was hospitalized for 18 days nearly and uh, her oxygen went as low as 69 at a point we all were very tensed everyone all my friends my family extended family sorry everybody was praying for her she was the worst affected one and she is our family's pet you know there was people who are everybody's favorite and uh, she is just adorable we all we all love her so much but i'm glad she is also negative now she is recovering so i'm doing this i don't know from faces it's their uh, sketch pen type pilot is their ink eyeliner alten pro Now because it's a day look, I'm just keeping the eyeliner very, very thin and very minimal, not extended, not extending it at all. And because I have small eyelids, I can't really make it a big one. See, so I'm doing it with my other eye. Now I'm going to do last thing on my face is my brows. I'm using this Wet Wet and Wild Brow Retractable Crayon. Along with this pulley, and this side is the actual product. So I'm just gonna. Pull, put my brows down. Give it a desired shade that I want. I'm actually just filling the sparse areas. I'm not doing any shape. This is how it will be eventually. I don't want to make it look very dark. It's just, it's a very summer day look. It can't be dark. And now I'm just gonna set my face with my fixing spray. for which i'm using the maybelline one is this one right here it just mel will melt down all the powder on my face and now i'm going to use my mascara because uh, my eyes my eyelashes are very wet and it will hold the mascara it will hold the mascara very well i'm going to use this mascara with this uh, eyelash curler and because my eyelashes are very wet it will hold the shape of my lashes and it will hold the mascara also Same goes with the highlighter. Maybelline makes some really good mascaras. Some of my favorite mascaras are from Maybelline. You know, the Lash Pad. Oh no, the Hyper Curl. I forgot the other name. This is how it is with two coats of mascara. Now for the highlighter, I'm using this one from Wet and Wild. It's the Precious Petals. This is how it is. 
I'm using this brush from Puna store which I got off Amazon I'm taking a generous amount of highlighter that I love highlighter and just putting it right on top of my blush I'm taking it a little downward to give it that effect now that my highlighter is done the last thing that is remaining is the lipstick which is like the cherry on the cake and the lipstick that I'm going to use is my favorite favorite one it's this one from L'Oreal Rouge signature collection it's the I I choose shade and I just love this I love how it just settles onto your lips it is non transferable the formula is amazing it is liquidy but uh, not heavy it's matte okay the shade isn't it gorgeous it takes time to settle on the lips because it's it's liquid so it just takes a little time to dry but once it dries it but once it dries it really doesn't come off that easily even with the mask so I'm just thinking um, should I should I do a little lip line and make it look big or no let's see so I'm using this lip liner from blue heaven and just outlining this is how it looked with the lip liner I feel it looks a little better with the lip liner and gives that nice plumbing effect and I also want to top it up with little glow with little gloss and so I'm using this one from L'Oreal Glam Shine it's that this kind of a chubby gloss it's not a gloss actually it's just a lipstick but it has a little shine on it I'm using only the center this is how it is so this is the final look guys um, this I kind of define it as a very basic summer look uh, I've given it a little pop of color also and kept it very basic and yeah it, it gives a uh, me a lot of happiness doing makeup after a very long period uh, all of us have uh, finally tested negative uh, things are falling back in place and uh, life is getting back on track um, it was indeed a very difficult phase for all of us and uh, I'm really thankful to each and everybody who has prayed for us who has helped us who has uh, um, who has been our good wisher who has uh, helped us overcome this difficult phase i'm really really thankful to everybody from the bottom of my heart and uh, yeah this is it i hope you guys enjoyed my little long video today a little chitty chatty one and i hope to see you all very soon until then bye